What's going on Aries? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for the week of January 23rd to the 29th, 2023. So in this reading Aries, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and much more regarding the upcoming week. But before we begin this reading Aries, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now if this general reading happens to resonate with you Aries, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates that would also be greatly appreciated over here Aries. So one last thing, the official Mystic merch line has just dropped. You see the hat that I'm wearing, you see this beanie right here. Click the link in the description box below. It will take you to my Teespring store. We got hoodies, t-shirts, you name it. This stuff is absolutely fire, and I know you like to look good, Aries, so definitely rep the Mystic. It would be greatly appreciated, and I would love to see you in it. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and get into this reading and let's see what wants to come through for you for this week, Aries. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Aries. Let's go ahead and see what we got, Aries. Woo. What? <laughs> Woo. Aries. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards for you. What frequency do you need more of this week? What frequency do you need to embody more of this week? The first energy that we have is gratitude, right? So gratitude, make sure that you're being, you know, paying a conscious effort to, to being grateful for your surroundings. Gratitude is one of the most powerful frequencies um, when it comes to manifestation or when it comes to just improving your uh, or raising your vibration in general. Something coming through as like, if you feel like you're a failure or if you feel like you're not like good enough, you know, just go out into the woods for like a few days and you'll realize like how much like if you have hot running water, like how much of a blessing that is. So there could be some sort of reset with gratitude. And this is also just about like the options and how abundant the universe is. Like once again, 2023 is going to be the year of the curveball, the plot twist for you. So I would say it's coming more so like as like, even though if you don't know exactly where you're going, have gratitude for all the abundant possibilities in your life and uh, something like that. We also have heart chakra here, Aries. So you are opening your heart chakra this week. At least that's the frequency you need more of. And clearly there's something weird going on in love for you this week. I think a lot of you have a big opportunity to commit to someone in love or you're talking to someone and it's kind of confusing but either way open your heart chakra heart chakra also includes forgiveness you know you may have to forgive someone and move on or there is something about just opening your heart instead of being in your head and this has to do with your life in general um there's something about this week you're going to be very in your head about what choice you're going to make in love, whether this is staying committed to someone or a lot of you actually have multiple options in love and it may be very confusing to you, but just open your heart chakra and love everyone, right? Like non-attachment is the best love, like love that is clinging, that is like, um, and love is like confusing, but like there's something about unconditional love for everyone, okay? And you also have potential here, Aries. Okay, so believing in your own potential is what you need more of. Like, where is the potential that you're not 
um, acting on. You know, wasted potential is probably some of the worst things in this reality. So gratitude, heart chakra, and potential. It's also coming through that for those of you that are single or if you're in something that's not really solid, there's something about you having a lot of potential with someone but there's all these people surrounded by it. There may be multiple third parties. There's like this moving parts in your love life that I'm getting. So, all right, Aries, your opportunity for this week is the seven of wands. The seven of wands is coming through as setting a boundary here. There may be someone from your past or someone that you just know it's over with that you may have to set a boundary um, with here, okay? It's your opportunity though, Aries, as well as with this, because you have potential here, Aries, you know, the seven of wands asks you what's worth fighting for. You know, like when it comes to you building the life of your dreams or you activating your potential, sometimes you have to fight for that. And so, and you're a fighter, Aries. So it's like, what's worth fighting for? We're going to have to clarify what that's about. It's coming through as multiple things. Your challenge, Aries, is the sun. All right. And what this is coming through as is mainly not so much happiness, but clarity. Um, your biggest challenge for the 23rd or the 29th is clarity about where your life is going and it's coming through as love life like you have a choice to make in love who are you going to commit to who are you going to start talking to because there's something happening here for you this week uh a little bit of a development there could be a, there's something weird going on we're gonna have to clarify why this is your challenge but also like it is coming through as like your challenge is to ask yourself, what is gonna make me really happy? What do I really need? You see the inner child right here sitting on the white horse. Like also with your opportunity is like, what are you really resistant to? With your opportunity being the seven of wands and your challenge being the sun, I am getting intuitively Aries that there could be something that you really want, especially I'm getting in your love life that once again, in the 2023 predictions, I predicted something being a little bit taboo or something being a little bit like, not like something that you have to admit, oh, this is what I really want, all right? Now, there's clearly a lot going on here between you and someone in your reality for uh, for this week because your overall general energy, Aries, is, wow, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and also the Eight of Wands. This has to do with individuals Love is in the air, fast moving energy. Whatever's happening for you this week is happening very fast, Aries. The Knight of Swords and also the Eight of Wands is also all about fast moving energy, open communication, being very direct. There's something about being very direct. Don't be afraid to like, just say what you feel, say what you want, make your needs known to the people around you. But for those of you that are single, or once again, you're holding on to something that's kind of falling apart, I do feel like you honestly have a choice in love. There could be people who are competing because sometimes love with Aries, depending on your other placements, can be like competitive and sometimes you like that, even though, oh, the moralist will say you're such a bad person. It's like, yeah, okay. Um, but honestly, for those of you that are single and you're talking to a few people, there could be like a little bit of a battle going on for your heart. And this could even be on your heart, like you have chords and you don't know. There's something about, there even could be a little bit of an ego battle with you and someone we're gonna have to clarify about what's going on but there's a lot of court cards in this reading your advice is you really like i don't know aries there's something weird going on in love like you have a big choice to make in love there's going to be some sort of like if you're with someone right now if you're in a situationship relationship or you're dating someone there's going to be a conversation this week about where is this going and you don't really know because uh because I don't know if just settling, like there's something about exploring your options because in what you don't see coming, you have the seven of pentacles, you have the uh, seven, 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 and nine, very auspicious numbers, but you have the seven of cups, the seven of pentacles, and also the nine of cups here, Aries, in what you don't see coming. So you, with what you don't see coming, you have a, you're gonna really question, what am I gonna invest in? Once again, the seven of pentacles is about gratitude and it's interesting that you need more of gratitude so in what you don't see coming although you have all these choices in front of you especially in love um it could just be the and if you're not talking to anyone this could just be the idea of i want to be with this type of person or i want to be with that type of person but for those of you a lot of you do are talking to multiple people or you have options or something um and your biggest challenge with the sun, you're really questioning what's really going to make me happy in love because you have all these options. And sometimes when you have all these options, like it makes it really hard to choose one because then you're like, well, what if that one was better? Like I almost like the frequency of this week is like you're having a hard time committing to someone because like there's a you think there's a better option out there, which there could be. Now, once again, I don't know if there's someone beefing. 
I don't know if you're beefing with someone or someone's beefing around for like two people are beefing about you because honestly Aries I mean wow in your advice you have the king of God, the, I don't know where I want to go with this because my I'm I'm, I'm I, I got a twisted mind. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm an you know I can go so many ways with this, but what I'm intuitively getting right there's some sort of like standoff between you and someone, or this is if this is not you and someone, this is like two people competing for you or something like that. Or your attention and your advice. You have the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and also the I'm not getting the, these are like united energies either. And you also have the Queen of Wands here in your advice. I feel like this is you, Aries, the Queen of Wands. Even if we're more masculine, make it the King of Wands and make these the two queens or whatever you're into. It doesn't matter. It's energy. Um, it's super interesting, right? Because you had the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords facing each other. And then you have these two masculine energies facing each other again. And then you almost have this like... <laughs> Uh, and then you have the Queen of Wands like looking off into the distance. So I don't know what this is about, Aries, but um, you could have a choice to make in love between um, you. You could have a choice between a fire sign and a water sign, or a water sign and an air sign. Something about that. And some of you are just like you're gonna like let people duke it out for your heart or something. I like that's clearly not for all of you. But all I can say is your advice definitely is to do with people. Now, for some of you, this could have to do with your career about like what you want to, who you want to commit to in your career. This could be two companies vying for your attention. This could be two choices that you have about like also your values in general. Like, do you want something more stable? Like, do you want someone like the King of Cups who is gonna like love you, be totally committed to you? and just be like, Aries, you're my whole world, I love you, baby, and like all this and like lovey-dovey stuff, or do you want someone who's just like an absolute savage? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that's just what I'm getting, right? Because why, like, like, why are they facing each other? Why are they facing each other? The Knight of Cups and the King, the Knight of Swords are facing each other, and then it's, it's like in the same row, too. So I don't know what's going on here, Aries. I just think there's that your love life is in flux and you have big choices to make. And there's also a lot of unfoldments here. Interestingly enough, you have at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Cups once again, and you also have the Knight of Wands. A lot of you are already in a commitment with someone, but you have this other option available to you. I don't know what's going on here, Aries. But also, and it's just all this mixed bag. So, so yeah. So B, I would also just say heart chakra and, and gratitude, like um, like an enlightened person can have love for everyone at the same time without making it like this negative thing. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Let's see why, why is the seven of wands here in your opportunity? Why is the seven of wands here in your opportunity, Aries, for... Uh, this week. This is spicy reading, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Why is this having a wands here? Seven of wands clarify for the six of swords, the two of cups. Woo! And the devil, oh my god, I just really see you being like really in a, a pickle here. You're in a pickle here about a soulmate here. A lot of you, your biggest challenge is to walk away from a soulmate that is clearly over, it's, it's done. It's something that is in the past now, but you're still attached to this person because of some level of comfort or something, right? Your biggest challenge is the six of swords to the, and also this is about walking into a new love relationship. For those of you that are like holding on to something that's just dead in the water or you're single and you're not sure, like, you see the six of swords is moving into the two of cups and also the devil. Some of you here, you may be very resistant to a potential lover that you're talking to or you just know in your soul is there. And your opportunity could be to like believe in that potential, to have gratitude for this option that's available to you. But for a lot of you that are in a stale thing or in a toxic thing, your biggest challenge is to put up a boundary with someone who's clearly toxic. I mean, the seven of wands, the two of cups and the devil here, a lot of you are holding on to someone who, uh, they're, it, it, you know, it's done and dusted and you're still holding on to it. And that's why it's like lack of clarity here. Like, 
in working with hundreds of tarot clients, the biggest challenge that people have is creating space, right? Because unless you're Osho or something, if you have a heart tied to someone, it's going to block someone else from coming through. But I'm Aries. Aries 8th house, so you call me Osho Jr. A. Okay. Why is the, uh, <laughs> why is the seven of, why, excuse me, why is this, sorry, why, I'm going to get it in my head. Why is the sun card here in your challenge? Why is the sun card here in your challenge? Let's see. Okay. Ace of Wands. <sighs> also, okay, a lot of you are also having a... F a lot of you are, if you're with someone already and there's some sort of toxicity between you and someone, you're kind of like, you're on and off with them. You're not really passionate about them, but you're just settling for it. There could be a fault, like gratitude and potential. Like there could be something about you believing in the potential of someone. Oh, this person's going to start loving me better. They're going to turn into the person that they keep saying that they're going to be. Meanwhile, it's just like they don't have it in them. It's like they have maxed out or it's just not going to happen soon. So it's like, what do you... I don't know. Gratitude and potential heart chakras. Hi. I don't know. Why is the sun card here? Let's do a few more. Yeah. Man, you are really confused, aren't you? You're confused. <laughs> yeah. Watch your profanity. Okay, let's see why the sun is card. Ooh. English. Okay. I can speak Irish, mate. All right. Sorry. Why is the sun card here in your challenge? One more. Oh, this is not getting, it's, it's just not going to be any easier, isn't it? Oh my God. What are you doing, Aries? <laughs> okay, so the sun in your challenge is first of all clarified by the ace of wands, the strength card and the five of pentacles. It's like, there's a new beginning out there for you. And a lot of you are just feeling like the three of also the three of cups, you can't really decide if like there's someone out there who you may be talking to, like you can't decide if this is like real or fake. Like the ace of wands, you're very attracted to someone, but you're outside of them physically. Uh, you're not with them in the physical realm. This could be someone who lives at a distance from you and you have the strength card and the three of cups here. So a lot of you, this is just about what you really need. It comes down to your personal values. I just see you being really like, you want a new beginning. You're not getting a spark from some sort of toxic thing in your love life right now, or you're believing in the potential of it. And you have the three of cups, the ace of wands, and the strength card. I mean, a lot of you are just like really confused, like, what am I going to do with all of this energy and these options that are having or here or what I really want, right? So I don't know. Um, with that being said, Aries, let's go ahead and clarify why the eight of wands is here. What is this communication about or what is this fast moving energy for you here. Let's go ahead and see. <laughs> why, is it eight, why is the eight of wands here? Some of you this week could be making plans with someone new, depending on what you got going on. Uh, why is the eight of wands here? Something's happening quick though, with people in your love life. Um, the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Sun, the Tower, and the Page of Swords here. All right, so a lot of you could have a quick ending with someone that you're holding on to, someone that you're dating. There could be some sort of clash of values. There could be a conversation that you have. You open your heart chakra and you realize this is over. The tower is a moment of destruction, but it leads to clarity here. You have the sun and your sun is your challenge and it's coming out in your overall general energy. There could really be a big fight with you and someone here, or it's just a fight within yourself. You also have the page of swords. For some of you, Depending, and I don't know if this is like whatever it is, what it is, there could be something that ends with you in a relationship with someone this week, and then you're like instantly like, okay, well, what about that other person that was into me? And you're like figuring out, well, how do we get this? Or there's just, it's just basically a, a complete shit show. If I can be honest with you, this week is going to be some sort of complete shit show. For some of you, this is going to be happening inwardly, and it's not necessarily going to be extroverted like you talking or you dealing with it. It's more of like this inner thing happening with your world. For others of you, this is going to be external. It's going to be you breaking up or oh, well, the next, it's just like, what is going on? 
All right, now let's go ahead and clarify why the Seven of Cups is here as well. Why is the Seven of Cups here and what you don't see coming? You have a very, very big choice in front of you. Why is the Seven of Cups here and what you don't see coming? I'm not really getting much about your career this week, to be honest. I mean, this could relate to it for sure, but it's more of like relationships this week. All right, the eight of, because uh, that obviously affects your career. The eight of, excuse me, the seven of cups is clarified. Clarified by the eight of wands. What's with all these duplicates? You have the sun twice, you have the eight of wands twice. The Eight of Wands, the Four of Swords, and also the Nine of Swords here. Yeah, okay, there's there's something that happens that really, like, upsets you, or this is an inner class that you're going to have to heal from, but you're going to have to make it a quick decision. Like, the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Wands, speed, movement, communication, openness, travel, the Four of Wands, and also the Nine of Swords here. A lot of you have a very scary decision about, because if you let go of something toxic, like, where is that going to lead you? And... It's almost like all of this is happening on the fly this week. Like, I don't really think you even see this coming. And it's going to be minor for some of you, more major for others of you. But you're, okay, for a lot of you, once again, the tower to the eight of wands, something comes to an end that ultimately will make you happy in the long run, but in the immediate, you need to heal from it, right? The four of swords and the nine of swords, like you're really upset about some sort of major quick change that leads to you needing to make an emotional decision, Aries. All right, and because we have these two people over here, I feel like this is the choices in love or something about that, or there could be even like a, I don't know what happens here, but let's clarify what the queen of wands is here and your advice, because the queen of wands is almost looking in the opposite way. So I don't know. Let's see why the queen of wands is here. There's, I'm also getting a lot of sub stories that I'm just not going to get into because it's just, it would be here like an hour. Why is the queen of wands here for you, Aries, and your advice? One more. Queen of Wands and your advice is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, and also the Nine of Pentacles here, Aries. Yeah, a lot of you here, you need to do what makes you happy when it comes to your love life. Clearly, this is a love reading. You have the Nine of Pentacles and you also have the Nine of Cups here. Some of you are going to be thinking about getting into like an open relationship. That's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, that's what you're into. Um, there could be about taking a break from someone here, but really, I feel like there's something about you. Wow, there's like a helicopter fleet coming by right now. I don't know what that means. The winds are coming, but there's something about also you and someone that you have a lot of potential with i think this person is far away from you or you don't you don't really you're not like close with this person but there's just someone who you have like a thing with and your advice is is that is unfolding i mean you see the nine of cups and the nine of uh pentacles are facing each other these are two now there could be a breakup that leads to you being single and then there being potential with a lot of uh, this per other person here um and there could be a lot of moving parts with this. So I'm going to conclude this shit show of a reading, Aries. I hope that this resonates with you. Don't forget to go get the Mystic merch. I know you guys are going to love it. Um, and that's a way for you to support the channel. And I am grateful for you, Aries. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading.